Hi guys, and CWQ here, and I have a article for you guys. And this one is posted, which says, startlingly round formation with steep smooth sides found on seafloor off California. And this is California here. A mountain would seem to be a tough thing to miss, but a new one has been found off the coast of California. The seamount, as underwater mountains are called, was discovered by a seafloor mapping drone, and its shape is more like a giant tower than a mountain. It rises about 3,300 feet, has relatively steep smooth sides, and is rounded with a diameter of nearly 3,000 feet, officials say. Saladrone, a research company that found it, reports the mount sits 184 nautical miles of Cape Mendocino, which is about 300 miles northwest of Sacramento. So Sacramento is here, right here where you see my mouse. So northwest would be this way. The immediate reaction from the team was that it looked like a bunt cake. It's very round with steep sides and a curved top that slopes into a crater in the center, according to Nay Beckler, a lead surveyor for Saladrone. One side of the top rim is higher than the other, forming a gradual summit. The top is slightly bulbous due to variability in slope. The summit of the seamount is about 11,352 feet below sea level. Meanwhile, the crater at the top of it is about 1,200 feet deep, as data shows. Saladrone discovered the seamount while mapping the seafloor in a partnership with the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration and the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management. Previously collected radar and satellite data hinted something might be sticking up off the seafloor in the area, but the seamount turned out to be one much larger feature, Solid Drone reports. <clears throat> Discovering a new seafloor feature is always noteworthy, but this feature is wedged between Mendocino and Pioneer Fracture Zones, placing it in a very dynamic area, Buckler said. It's surprising that no one has explored it considering the many interesting fault-related features in the area and its proximity to so many ocean science institutions. Scientists assume the formation is the result of volcanism. Many seamounts form at volcanic hotspots near the tectonic plate boundaries and are believed to be extinct volcanoes according to NOAA. Typically, they are cone-shaped but often have prominent features such as craters and linear ridges, and some, called Gaiutes, have large flat summits. <coughs> there is a broad size distribution for seamounts to be classified as seamounts. The features must have a vertical relief of at least 1,000 meters or 3,300 feet above the surrounding seafloor. The U.S. Geological Survey reports there are at least 63 seamounts off of California, and most of them are 100 miles offshore and a mile deep. It's estimated they are 10 million to 25 million years old, and none are active volcanoes, the USGS says. Saladrone found a new mount in February during a mission to map previously unexplored areas around Alaska's Aleutian Islands and off the California coast, officials say. Brian Cannon, Vice President of Ocean Mapping for Saladrone, called the seamount a prime example of the discoveries waiting to be found by the U.S. waters. Among the extremes encountered during the mapping expedition was a spot in the Aleutians that was roughly 4.4 miles deep, Cannon said. No shipwrecks were noted during the data collection, but we did see a whole array of fascinating features, including long finger ridges, likely from faulting with intricate drainage texture, submarine canyons and basins, and the Aleutian Trench. Saladrone intends to submit data about the seamount to the general bathymetric chart of the Ocean Subcommittee on Undersea Features Named for Naming, 
so it can be added to an international maps as a named feature. The company is considered the world's leader in providing ocean data solutions with autonomous surface vehicles, including unscrewed missions to survey conditions inside hurricanes. Interesting article. And this is roughly what it looks like. Okay, you guys. Anyways, much love. God bless and hope y'all have a great day.